Hey guys, it's Ryan. Welcome to this scribe tool or needle tool DIY. For this one, we need a needle. I'm going to smooth like the pointy part and I'm going to be doing this with a nail file and it's pretty simple. You just have to go back and forth until the pointy part is gone and it's not like super pointy anymore and it's kind of like round. I'm just taking a normal one, like a new one and this one that I just did so just so you can see the difference. As you can see, it's a lot less pointy. I'm going to be using some air dry clay. This is the one that I use. I bought it at Walmart. It's super easy to find. But just in case you can't find it like near you, I'm just going to link below places that you can buy this online. And I'm not going to be using that much. To be honest, you don't need that much. Just about this much. And I'm going to pretty much roll it into a small like snake kind of shape or just like a really thin sausage. I'm going to be using my X-Acto knife just to remove like the edges and just I'm going to be working on them to make them round and I'm just going to go ahead and insert in lack of a better word my uh, needle tool just until I feel comfy with how much of a uh, needle is showing. I'm going to let it dry. It dries by itself because it's air dry clay but then I'm going to be taking some black acrylic paint and my brush and I'm just going to pretty much cover it twice and I'm just going to be decorating this with some polka dots using my wet acrylic paint and my uh, toothpick. Now in the past I've done a lot of needle tools, scribe tools, DIYs but this is my favorite because of the design. I just wanted to show you this because of the design. I love polka dots and so I just hope you like this design as much as I did. And then because I want this to look a bit more professional and just like shiny and just like new, I'm just going to add this gloss. Uh, covering the whole thing and going a couple of times with this. This gloss is from a local brand but I'm going to include below places where you can find glosses like this one. Once I'm done I'm just going to let it dry on a block of like foam like this. This is pretty much it. These tools like scribe tools, needle tools, they are real handy to have around. You can use them for jewelry making or when you're working with a fondant or you can use them for royalizing and this one is really affordable to make as well. I really liked it. I hope you liked it too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Click on the notifications like the bell thing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.